King Singers have been famous over the years for their Christmas recordings, although the last Christmas recording by the King Singers came in 1989. That was an album entitled A Little Christmas Music, and that album included a number of non-traditional Christmas arrangements, songs like A Little Drummer Boy, which are not going to be featured on this latest King Singers Christmas album. What we've decided to do is to present a much more serious reflection on Christmas and the Christmas message. And instead of going for the kind of slightly syrupy, um, kitschy Christmas repertoire, which is featured on so many Christmas albums across the world, we've gone back to our roots, if you like, and delved into the tradition of choral music from around the world and brought a lot of elements together, singing in a number of different languages, uh, to create a traditional King Singers Christmas. Of course, over the years, the King Singers have commissioned literally hundreds and hundreds of different pieces of music and arrangements, and this album is no exception. We were lucky enough to get John Rutter to uh, rearrange one of his pieces, There is a Flower, especially for this album. We were also lucky enough to get the Danish composer, Bo Holton, to rearrange one of his pieces for us. It's called Noah, Sing Me Now. And thinking of a slightly lighter Christmas repertoire, we've used our baritone, Philip Lawson, who has done many arrangements for the King Singers recently. And we've got several of his arrangements on this album, including a piece Noël Nouvelle, a French carol, and also a German carol, Maria durch ein Dornwald gehen. So, again, that reflects the international flavour, yet traditional flavour of this album. The album follows the celebration of Christmas, starting, of course, with Advent, and going through the celebration over the Christmas period, right up to Epiphany. You could think of the album as being an Advent calendar, uh, at least in words and music, because there are 25 tracks if you include the bonus track, Born on the New Day. And that is a very special track to us because it's based upon a song which over many years has become a bit of a King Singer's trademark, the original song by Airwave, You Are the New Day. In fact, many people now relate the song You Are the New Day to the King Singers rather than to the original artists. And we decided to commission some Christmas words for this album, and the song is called Born on a New Day. When you're drawing together the ideas for a Christmas album, I think those ideas come in from many different places. And when we sat down as a group and discussed what we would like to achieve with a Christmas album, I think the inspiration and the idea became clear very early on that we wanted to create something a little bit different with this album. And in fact, the difference is that we're not slaves to the idea that Christmas should be kitschy, that Christmas should be diluted in any way for the sake of commercialism. But what we actually did here was we drew together songs, carols from all over the world. We put them together and we created a musical journey for the listener. It feels a little bit strange recording a Christmas album in the middle of May. Of course, there are many reasons why we're recording an album at this time of year, not least because we want it in the shops by Christmas. But on these long and light evenings, it does feel a little bit weird to be standing and recording Christmas carols whilst you're wearing your shorts. But it is the middle of May, and the nights are very long and light. You can hear birds singing outside. And, of course, we want the album in the shops by Christmas. The King Singers have released a number of their arrangements in sheet music, but many of our arrangements are quite difficult, even for the most advanced choirs. One has to sing King Singers arrangements in a particular way. And so, as we sing new arrangements, we, we do think about publishing them, but we like to preserve a certain amount of the mystique of the King Singer sound for ourselves, as well as sharing our skills with others. 
we're very lucky in that we have a publishing arrangement with the Hal Leonard Music Corporation in the USA. And to coincide with the launch of our King Singers Christmas album, there's also going to be a King Singers Christmas collection released by Hal Leonard. This disc is going to be the first disc to feature the current, the present King Singers lineup. In uh, 2001, our latest edition joined the group, that's Robin Tyson, countertenor. And we're very excited and very pleased that the lineup, as it is today, is making this Christmas album. We're always talking about new projects, new recording projects, and new concert projects. And quite often, a recording project will go hand in hand with new concert ideas and new program ideas. And we're constantly talking about ideas which not only take us into the serious realms featuring music, for example, of Gesualdo, and we're talking now about a recording of the Tenebrae Responsives by Gesualdo as our next recording project. We also think about recording light music as well, and we're discussing, even now, whilst we're doing Christmas recording, we're discussing future recording projects, both in the serious repertoire, but also in the lighter repertoire, because, of course, the King Singers are famous for their musical eclecticism and also the variety and the quality of their singing.